everyone. How are we on this glorious Thursday night? Guess where I've been? I went for a walk. It was so good. My child has surprised me and picked me up. And we went for a walk. So please, please, please tell me who is here. Meg, namaste, namaste. Who is here? Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Aloha. Hola. Queridos, queridas, Yasu. I was thinking about it, Yasusita, Helena. Elenica, hello, Meg. Say hello. G'day. Lisa, ni hao. I'm just going to do like 15 languages here. You realize that, yes? And why not? Because guess why? Today we are going to talk in the soul language. And what is the soul language? It's the language of love. It's the language of being. It's the language of honoring who you are and what you are. Can you see me well and hear me well? Today I have moved my... How? Ha! Um, hang on. Today I have moved my location from my bench to my back garden. And I have a little... My friend Adal said to me, we need some flour. And I'm like, okay, I'll bring the fiddler. Fiddler is here. Um, how are we? Can you please write down? Camille, good to see you. You're on time. Perfect. Very, very, very good. So tell me, how was your week? How are you going with the lockdown? How frustrated slash happy slash any are you? Let me know how you are. I want to see you. Write something, okay? Um, today we're going to talk about Yasu Angela. Today we're going to talk about the connection of the head, the heart, the gut, and the soul. I would love you to, to share with me though. I need you to help me. And I want you to share with me what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you're sensing. Let me, why are you very frustrated, Camille? Okay, we already have some sharing. Okay, um, share with me what is your frustration? What is happening? Why is it? I think this lockdown 5.2. <clears throat> oh, and we have Shalom from Israel as well. Um, super, super challenging in one way. yet it's mentally taxing. If we will be able to overcome that um, mental you know, stress challenge, we will be able to be so much in our power. And today, that's one of the meditations that we're going to do today. We're actually going to align our head, our heart, our gut, and our soul. So please try to stick with me it's not that you have anywhere else to go, do you? No, I don't know. So I can tell you that the first two days of the week were super, super, super flat for me as well. It felt as if the whole energy is like challenging to, to see how deep we can go, how low we can go, how sad we can be, right? And... It's so easy to go in that spiral down. And especially if there are parents here that are um, doing homeschooling, doing the work, trying to do their own thing, pretending that they're doing their work and it doesn't always work. What is really happening is that, yes, we are being super challenged, but hey, tomorrow and Saturday, it's a full moon. So it's going to change the energies again. So it's going to be really way better for each and every one of us, okay? So um, are we ready to discuss? Did I hear everyone? You spent time with your girls, you were sick, and now it's better. Amazing, that's what we want. Very good, bueno. So what it is, and you know, in my book, which we're gonna do the course, we have, um, 
Hey, Tammy, all the way from Caulfield. <laughs> we have Israel, we have all kinds of places. Jackson, yes, Bandura, Wanterna. Where else do we have? Around the corner from me. <laughs> we have Far in the Endeavor Hill in that area. Um, and Far from Angela. Listen, the problem is that when we are not being aligned, when we are not aligned with our mind, body, spirit, inner energy, outer energy, we are seeping the energy away, we're acting like a sieve, and we're basically effed up because we have to pull the energy away. Hey, Vicky, as well, thank you. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the head. The head is about logic. The head is about knowledge. The head is about the brain. The head is very necessary, but we can't always use it. Do you agree with me? Um, it's responsible for all your thought patterns. It's responsible for your, um, the way that you perceive things, the, the, the way that you pronounce things, the way that you do the things that you do, right? That's the head. That's where you store some of the knowledge. That's where you store some of the, you know, the mathematical parts of life. And what it is, is that, can we use it, Camille, except the train. Camille and I lives on the same train line, like literally 300 meters, maybe. Um, can't get over that train. So basically, when we are, we need the logic, we need to figure out problems, we need to stay cool, calm and collected. Some of the times we need to use the brain and the brain is bliss. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If I'm putting you, I do do, I'm buying two identical doors from Bunnings, identicals, okay? And behind one door, you have the treasure of your life. Behind the other one, you have all your fears. I don't know, I'll say some of mine, snakes and scorpions and like, gonna come and get you. The logic here will not help you, will it? Because the logic will say, pick a door. You have 10 seconds to pick it. Who will pick it? Will it be the head, the heart, or the gut? The head, the heart, or the gut? Who will that be? Can I get an answer from you? Identical doors, you have to pick. One will have the prize, one will have the fear with all your nightmares. Will it be the head, the heart, or the gut? Slash intuition. I'm waiting to see, waiting to see, waiting to see. Talk to me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hey, Lynn. Yasu, Helen, too. We have a few Helens. What will it be? Gut. Boom. What else? Gut. Indeed. Gut. And then what happens when you're angry, upset? You're feeling gutted, right? So it is definitely the gut. Lynn, how will you open the door with your head? The head won't tell you which one is the door to pick, right? So when we need to choose, we need to have a few tools. So let's move to the heart. The heart is the center of emotion. You feel sad, you feel happy, you feel broken, you feel flowing, you feel elated, you feel drained. This is where the heart is. But where is the senses? The senses sits in the gut. Salam alaikum. The senses sits in the gut. That's your gut feeling. That's your feeling. That's your actually acknowledging and sensing if this place are right or not, right? Like if you're going now to walk in an alley and you're like, it mm, doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. But it's not from your heart. Like today, someone to, I spoke to a friend and I said to her, and she gave me an advice, um, which was a great advice. But then I've asked her, but darling, did you give me this advice from love or from fear? In, in your heart, this is basically where love and fear resides, okay? This is where it sits, and this is what gets everything else going. Does that make sense? So 
when we're going into that gut, this is your primal, this is your essence, this is your err. You either know it or you're not. Like you, you, it's not knowing necessarily, it is sensing it, okay? So who has gut problem here? Or who had gut problems that made it sometimes difficult for them because they had to take all this emotion, all this connection to themselves? Can you tell me? Did you ever have any gut problems? Did you have any headaches? Do you think too much? Because this will allow us to see where the potential challenge is sitting. Does that make sense? So today, just before, when my daughter said, come, mom, let's go. I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's do it. Um, I took some few breaths. I love the sea and the air that, you know, that we get there. And um, all I, it took me three seconds just to align myself, okay? So when we have gut problems, whether it's constipation, whether it's diarrhea, whether it's just not flowing so well, and by the way, do you know how many times we actually need to go to number poo? At least two to three, if we can after every meal. So wherever you have the challenge, wherever you have the difficulty, this is where you have the physical expression of it. When you have headache, you either think too much, you're looping, you are not allowing yourself. You are not allowing yourself to find the solutions because there is a lot of leads you into the heart, into the fear. When you are in fear, you don't have your courage because you don't know what to do. You don't, you're scared to make a mistake. You're scared. How many of you are scared to make a mistake? What is the right thing? That's where we are connecting it to the gut, to your gut feeling. We've been told for so many years, for so many eras and eons, not to express ourselves or to express ourselves in a certain way that might not upset someone else. And I'm saying, F that shite. And you need to be who you are. You need to be what you are. You need to allow yourself to be in your full energy. But what does it mean to be in your full energy? To be in your full energy means that you can utilize everything. Now, that leads me to the soul. I had an interesting discussion with someone and she told me that she is not so sure about the soul and she's not so sure about God and she's not so sure that it has any logical explanation. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Yet, the fact that someone doesn't know something about someone or something or some issue, it doesn't mean that it's not existing. Do you agree with me? Now, when we say about God, I don't mean the church, the synagogue, the mosque, the, the, the temple. No, I mean this universal, gigantic, amazing energy that shifts everything. You can give it a name and you can try and limit it. We don't want to. So the connection, very interesting. You know, I've been doing kinesiology for 20 years, right? And there is a muscle that's called the psoas. Have you heard of the psoas? P-S-O-A-S, the psoas. And the way that we've studied it, if the psoas is out, you will have a sore ass. Psoas, sore ass. Um, because it actually aligns all of your lower back. A lot of people do it. When you come to me to a session and I check your jaw, I check your psoas, always, or most times, and when it is out, there is some form of misalignment. The psoas though relates to the kidney. And in the research that I made, what is the actual um, meridian that connects to the soul? So there were two ambivalent opinions there and they were, it's the kidney and it's the liver. Some points relate to the kidney and the bladder, which is the water element. 
and some points were relating to the liver. But guess what? The water waters the wood. And once that you are connecting all of these energies, you can see how amazing the water feeds the wood and then something can grow. And what can grow is the soul. 70% of our body is water, between 70 to 80, right? So you will tend to think that the soul will sit there. So from my point of view, I've actually seen some of my past lives and epic, epic. Um, and the traditional Chinese medicine, which is a medicine of over 5,000 years, Judaism believes in it, some believe in some form of Christianity, definitely in Buddhism. That's how they pick the Dalai Lama, don't they? Who, who did he reincarnate into? And the energy that comes through is the knowing, it's the connecting, it's the being. When you will be in your being, you will never have to prove anything to anyone. Does that make sense? If you're feeling that you need to prove things for people, then you are not actually aligned within yourself. And that's why you're either shitting yourself, or you have diarrhea, or you are in constipation, because the system is clogged. Do you know how quick your digestion needs to be? You, we all need to poo today what we ate yesterday. So if you'll be able, and it doesn't mean to be a poo chat, but it is what it is. Um, because this is one of the holes that can never be stopped. Because if that is blocked, you're literally full of shit and then you become contaminated. And that's where we need to release everything. Um, let me just Palo Santo us. So how will you know how quick or how healthy your digestion is? You eat foods that are tracing. So if you do like corn, if you can have some corn, that's for all of us. If you like some corn, have a cob of corn or corn from a can, eat it and see the next time that it comes out from your backside. And this will show you the quickness of your digestion system, digestive system. Does that make sense? Good, I hope so. Okay, so how are we going to align the head, the heart, the gut, and the soul? What do you think yours, what do you think you are functioning more from? When we shut down in the brain, in the corpus callosum, the brain literally shuts down. You can't think. You're moving into the primal. You're moving into the reptilian brain, where is the fight, flight, freeze. The adrenals that sits on top of the kidneys, literally, that's where they sit, going into alert. The general major is alerting the whole body, shutting down the thyroid. So if you're stressed, you may gain weight or making the thyroid goes hyper, right? and then it's too fast, then the body gets hot, the muscle gets warm, you're on alert, you are ready to pump, you are ready to fight, you are ready to go. Okay, Carolyn, you're working through the heart, amazing. We have to align it all, okay? So when people get emotional, too emotional, and they're working with love or they're working with fear, it doesn't help you to go. I want you to stay balanced emotionally, if we can. Um, yesterday, I have heard about this method, like I didn't hear about it officially before, but I knew it. It is about, have you ever heard of a non-violent communication? Non-violent communication. So a doctor named Marshall Rosenberg in the 60s has developed this method of non-violent communication. And 
he put two animals two animals listen to this two animals that communicate with one another one of them is a coyote one of them is a giraffe the coyote is an animal that attacks it's a predator and it goes when the coyote is out it's attacking when it's attacking the person doesn't have much chance so when a coyote attack right it's a savage when the coyote goes within themselves self attack then it's guilt shame and blame as well okay giraffe on the other hand and i'm going to go into it a little bit more giraffe on the other hand has one of the largest hearts physically in the animal kingdom and why is that because of her size and because that the heart need to pump through her long 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 neck to her head the blood flow sorry so she has a big big heart when the giraffe is going out she loves everyone and she sees what she wants what does the other person actually say when it goes in that is the ultimate self love so think of the giraffe she's standing there eating from the top of the tree placidly during the day usually they sleep at night yet come the coyote usually at night and attacks they make noise and it's very interesting actually that I'm using it because it is a full moon coming tomorrow night and Saturday so the coyotes will house together with the wolves their cousins it's the same it's the dog family so when we are working on self love you will usually project the love externally right be a giraffe but when we are feeling attacked by the coyote what do we need to do do we need to fight it back and see who is the alpha or do we just need to spread them with love because remember the giraffe can run and very quickly right she has the longest legs by far and but she's so gentle so imagine a child that comes home angry probably hangry as well they say i'm hungry open the fridge which is usually full open there's nothing to eat i don't want to know okay so if you were a coyote back what would you say are you kidding me what are you saying the fridge is full what are you talking how can you say it? and you'll take it personally because you're thinking hang on i just cooked and everything and it's still not good enough and what is happening there and then you blame yourself and then you're being annoyed then you're being stressed then you're fighting ra 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 but if you'll take the giraffe method you like my giraffe if you'll take the giraffe method um hey francis you will say how was your dad school yeah it was all right ra 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 and did you play with your friends did you hang out depends on the age you play or hang out yeah yeah right would you like me to make you some pancakes would you like me to make you something that you can't necessarily see yes okay so why don't you go to your room and relax and i'll make you some food can you see how this can diffuse the situation in a very quickly and why is that because i did not play to the game and i did not become offensive together i did not um become violent as they are i did not look for an opportunity just to fight it and to do it and to be very upset with the boy or the girl as a matter girls can be just as savages um does that make sense once that you are connected through the love and through the giraffe your whole communication is going to be something different you are the one in control you are the one who will decide 
how the situation is going to pan out. Even if it's out of your control 100%, you are still the one in control. Ask me why. Why? Because it is your choice how you are going to react or to respond. Do you agree with that? Give me some thumbs up. Well, love hearts. Love hearts are cute. Do you agree with that? If you are going to control your reaction, you will control the results of the action. Make sense or not? If someone is going to annoy me and I will get annoyed, I'm the one who is suffering from it, right? If someone is going to annoy you, like, whatever, it's yours, it's not mine, then it's on them. Especially now when everyone, of course it works with husbands, with wives, with animals, with children, with parents, everything. It works with another person. Like, okay, let's say even with animals, my cats have fluff. Sometimes I come and I'm like, ur, 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 ur. And I see a little puddle there. She's looking at me, the cat. Yes, princess, she who stares at me. And suddenly I'll come home and there'll be a fluff ball there. Now, I can get annoyed, but is it her fault? Is it, she did it, but is it her fault? Is it on her? Is it my job to, to shout or to scream and to say, you know, what have you been doing? You should know better. You're 13 which makes a what, 70 plus 21, 91. You should know better. <laughs> I can't. Shit happens. I have to pick it up. It's under my responsibility. That's what I do. That's what I do. The question is, how do you choose to do? So never fight with a drunk person. Never fight with someone who is angry. Never fight with someone who is not controlling their emotions. Because all you will do, whether you speak logically or not, it will still be your fault. How many traumas have I treated of kids, which are now adults, that were so scared to react because their parents, one of them, doesn't matter who, was so drunk, was so drunk that they didn't make sense. They didn't feed them. They didn't or they just shouted at them, forget just the drunk. But they knew to keep quiet. They knew to keep away, to dodge the bullet so that it will not hurt them. Does that make sense? Yes, Subiki. And this is where we need to trust and to align our head, our heart, our gut, and our soul. We know that it comes from... You see, in word, the word breath in Hebrew makes a lot of sense. The word neshima, it actually has the word soul and God. Mom and dad gives us the DNA. Egg, sperm, happy. But the soul is what enters it and that comes from straight from God. When you are connected, the breath, that is the breath of life. Or when we die, we take our last breath. And when we are connecting to the soul, we know our mission. We know what we need to do in this life. We know how we need to work in this life to make things really powerful and in the flow and in the happiness. So what do you feel that your soul mission is i'm just going to throw it there so if we'll continue with the meridians then the head has the central meridian and it's about aligning the brain it's about aligning all your thinking to be able to know right from wrong left from right you know we have all those parts when we go to the heart we have the heart meridian and the heart meridian is all this love and fear Anxiety can come from here. Depression can come from here. 
because depression is about the past, anxiety, it's about the future. But when we get palpitations, which is just between here to here, we have the thymus gland, and that is the stress gland. And if you will all, can you please all just rub literally between the throat and between your heart, exactly where my pendant is, because that's why I picked that size. If you will press it a bit strong, not little pet, but strong, 99% it is sore. If it's sore, I want you to write, it is sore. Ouch, pain. I want you to rub it. As soon as you will rub it, you will actually be able to breathe better. And do you know why? This is your stress gland. This is where we get stress. So usually what I ask people to do is this. Of course it is sore. Yep. Do this. Follow me. This is your thymus gland. And once that you do that, it will start to release. Immediately I can breathe better. I didn't even realize that I wasn't breathing better. Now I can tell you I breathe much better. And why is that? I've actually released whatever stress, whatever anxiety, whatever everything. Here, let me do that for you. So again, just here, you have here the throat, here the heart, in the middle. For me again, it's where I put this, that's why I put my pendant there. And it's like, it's here. So rub, 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 rub. You can do that even when you watch TV. You can do that when you sit down. You can do it in your morning tea or coffee or whatever. Does that make sense? So this is a very good um, activity for you to do. So as I said to you before, the large intestine as well. Um, so the gut will relate to the large intestine. And guess what? What happened for babies? Beautiful God, you're welcome. What happens to baby? What's the first thing? Why do they cry so much? The beginning, they get gas, they get this, because their intestine is start to be filled up with food and it goes ascending, transverse, descending, and um, Zygmunt, I call it Zygmunt, but it's like Zygmunt or something like this, because I, I remember it with Zygmunt Freud. Hi, Michal. So basically, when you need to let go, it, it's pushing shit up. But we have all those ring muscles that pushes it up. And then here, and then here, and then out. And once that you are letting go of this old crap, this old shit, physically, emotionally, and mentally, and spiritually, you let go. When you're letting go, you're not attached. And for those of you who watched last week, or you're always welcome to go back and watch last week clip. When you let go of shit, you are feeling free. You are feeling relieved. You are feeling released, right? And this is what the large intestine is about. But guess what? What's the internal of the large intestine? It is the lung. And what is the lung? Lung is about grief and mourning. And where does the lung connect to? To the heart. Because what supplies the heart? The, heart, the four rooms, the chambers, it, they work together, right? So then what does the heart do? It is the blood supply to the brain. It is all working together. We are one amazing machine. But when people try to be in control, they will go to the head and they will do this, this and that because that's the right thing to do. But does it really? Does it feel right? Does it sense right? How many people decided to, it's almost like make a bet, but their gut feeling. Did any of you ever watch NCIS with Jethro when he says, my stomach, my gut is telling me that. And he was never wrong. He was never wrong. Some things, because logic is one plus one equal two. But when you sense that there is a deeper story, then you actually know that there's something else hiding there. And this is where you need to look, feel, sense, and know. So 
There's a lot of things that are happening currently in our political pandemic, pandemic, whatever. You must do what's right for you. You must follow your own gut. You must follow your own heart. You must follow what is right for you. Don't let anyone to pull you this way or this way. Um, I've actually started to write the newsletter that you can get um, on the first of the month. And one of the things that I've asked for people to do, like one of the tips that I'm going to give you, is to ground yourself. So let's do for a second, if you don't mind, if the phone is just placed or the computer, if you can put one hand here and one hand here. One on your head and one on your heart. Have a giraffe heart. Have a big heart. And I want you to just align that. Feel it. Now, what does it mean to align? I want you to feel your palms pulsing as you touch it. No, don't think. Don't, you don't have to think anything. You, the only thing you need to say is, I'm safe and secure. The war is over. Even if it hasn't, if you tell it to your head, it will believe you. And that is as well how logical it is. You know, you're seeing that it's night, then it's night. But if we will put the light on, then it's not. So the brain doesn't really know what it is. Now, again, one hand on your heart and one hand on your tummy, on your gut. Can you do that for me? It's actually for you. So again, I want you to say, I trust my gut feeling. I now choose to trust my gut feeling, even though that I haven't done it for many years. Hence, I'm having digestive problems. So I now choose to release my digestive problems and align my gut to my heart. And we've already aligned the heart to the head. So breathe. And that is already releasing. Can you feel that all shifting and moving? That is very good. And now I will put one hand on the head. You guys are releasing a lot because I can feel the energy. Okay. Now take one hand on the head and one hand on your gut. And put it there. And actually give the gut permission to guide the head and give the head permission to listen to the heart because that's how it works right so do this and do that now that is wonderful already if we were octopus we would tell you to do everything together but we can't yes sudion very late tonight you can listen to it again so as we are connecting the head and the gut after we've done the head and the heart, and after we've done the heart and the gut, now it's all connected. Now, let us connect to the soul. You ready for that? Are you ready for that? I need to see. That is likes and love hearts. Are you ready to connect to your soul? Okay, so I want you to put your hands in a prayer position, preferably near your heart. But remember, it is connected. One is pointing up to the head and one is down, you know, to your heart. I want you to close your eyes. Well, I'm just going to send you all energy. I want you to close your eyes and say, please connect me to my soul. Please connect me to my soul mission. Please allow me to be in my full potential. I am now willing to be a vessel of the light and to cleanse my vessel. To allow my soul to guide me through what our mission is. When we are connected, 
through the energies of love and light. I am now willing to perform at my best ultimate potential. To calm my thoughts and my programming that are based on fear and limitations. To expand my heart to its beautiful full capacity of loving myself and others. To allow my gut to sense and to report to me, to connect to me and communicate with me in the most effective way of love and to enable me to let go of all that I need to let go of while I'm connected to my true soul mission. As I'm connecting to my true soul mission, everything that I do is effortlessly and easily. As I now choose to live aligned to my mission, to my energy, to my power, and to all my intents. So be it, so be it, so be it. I now choose on a daily basis to let go of all the excess energy that does not serve me back to Mother Earth to fertilize it and to let it support. And from that negative energy, all this manure is going to fertilize it and not contaminate it. I now choose to live to my full potential now and always. So be it, so be it, so be it. And when you can, open your eyes and please write me a comment. How are you feeling? I can feel how all the energies are super, super, super calm. Can you feel it as well? Can you feel the calmness? Can you feel that connection? Have I done my good deed of the week? Beautiful. Spice Nicole. Nick Noll. It feels oh so calm. Very good. Very, very good. And that is what we want. I want you all to be aligned all the time. I want you to be quiet yet powerful. I want you to be big heart giraffe and even if the coyote is coming to attack you you're like not interested not interested and the reason that i'm saying not interested is that i choose not to fight i choose not to fight i can tell you a funny story my dad spoke to me on two nights ago and he said, oh, I'm so happy that you, because my older sister lives here, I'm the baby, so they're all older than me. And he said to me, I'm so glad that you and your sister get along. I'm like, yep. I said to him, dad, I will always get along with her until she will turn on me. She'll get bored and she'll pick a fight. And if I'm in a good mood, it's not going to work. But if I'm in a bad mood or if I'm grumpy or whatever, because I can be a coyote. But I only be a coyote if I feel attacked. Now, I love my sister dearly. Yet, why to poke a bear? Why to poke a lion? A lion can be the best, beautiful, but growl it. So, does that make sense? It is your choice if you're going to pick a fight or not. They can say whatever they want. I just need you all to pray with me for the following two weeks. When is it? 22, 29, two weeks. Please pray all with me that I'll still go to Uluru. I promised you I will take you with me to Uluru. I just hope that we can still get out. I don't have much hope. I just have a hope. I don't have much expectation. I just have hope. Do you have questions so far? So, in summary, head 
central meridian all about thinking all about brain thoughts and and looping programming and stuff heart it's the heart meridian it's the emotions it's the flow it's the big giraffe how we're we choosing to do it self-love so 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 important then we have the gut large intestine and lungs um and sorry i'll go back to the heart and one of the most important parts of the of the fire the heart is part of the fire meridian uh, fire element in the chinese medicine part of it has the small intestine which is the warehouse manager that sorts everything and it has the adrenals and the hormones right so if your heart is broken it's like you know how there is a broken heart and then that's where the adrenal sits so the heart and the adrenals are oh so connected everything is connected to everything but if i'll get you to see it separately and then together then we are winners because that's what we're going to do and that's what we're going to be and then we have the gut large intestine and lung it is about grief it's about letting go it's about releasing and we have the soul knowing being it has the plan it has the blueprint and this is what it's about connecting to that blueprint so again my whole range of remedies my whole range of elixirs is based to see exactly where you are and it goes with the chakras and it goes with the essences and it goes with all kind of affirmations so you feel free please to still go to my website the soulalchemist.com.au because you still have 20 percent off for the next eight days nine days until the end of the month because it's 20 years to the clinic so yippee and yippee i celebrate you win right so 20 percent off so if there's anything that speaks to you please go there and again we spoke about effective communication coyote out are attacking blaming and hurting in coyote in it's about um, shame guilt and self-blame and then giraffe huge heart when it's out it's loving everyone even when they're trying to bite her and when it's in it's self-love that is where i want you to be and that's where i want you to be connected sometimes we don't know what to choose and how to choose and this is where we are um we need to find the way to do that um there's going to be a new reel that is coming about tarot but it's more than tarot i've created this cute thing only a limited edition of it but this is a pendulum board and the reason that it's like a pendulum board is when you are um when you have a dilemma comes the pen the pendulum and you can do the pendulum whatever you want i just received some of them so basically you can do the yes no maybe and unknown however pendulum is about so this is a very cute one and the good thing about it that it has my logo on it which is the sacred um, flower of life and the Merkaba together received to me directly from metatron so whether it's this or whether it's the pendant this is very very powerful and this will make sure that you're not making many mistakes um, if at all actually not many if at all so how do we choose look i've, I've got some very cute new toys um, so this is a citrine pendulum and i always pick them raw this is a tourmaline a tourmaline black tourmaline and this is an amethyst but it's more than an amethyst because i can actually see it's an ametrine which is amethyst plus citrine um let's see if i can make them all go together let's see so you have to be the boss i can teach you how to do that you have to be the boss stop and then show me a yes and i want yes to be back in front can you see how they're all going back in front stop stop and i'm not moving my hands show me a no and turn can you see how they all turn how cute i've never done three together 
and this is how you get the answer. So it's like when I teach, it's cute. You have to admit that this was cute. Um, how do I do that? Basically, you have to establish what is a yes, what is a no. I teach it as well in my book, Channeling, part of the How to Channel. By the way, my course is going to be on the 10th, the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st of um, August. So it's next month. I already have a few people who have will be participating. I highly, highly, highly encourage you to join it. It's very, very powerful. And as you can, as you can see, I improvise. Um, not improvise, they're already written, written, done in my head. Um, meditations and strategies and tools for you to shift and to move the energy. So by having a pendulum board that is very safe, it can almost guarantee the accuracy of your questions. I wouldn't ask questions about the future. I would ask about present progressive because you really, 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 really have to make sure that it's your highest self that does it and not your ego or as such or that part. Am I going to win the Dutch Lotto? What are the numbers? Am I this? Am I that? This is manipulation. You have to be not attached to the result. And that's the only way to do it. Um, and that's what I mean about being a clear vessel. This is where your soul can actually talk to you and tell you what to do. Questions? Because if not, it is card times. Who cards are they? Oh yes, Sharon Tal, the soul alchemist. So, empowerment cards from Survive to Thrive. Who would like a card? Let me just sage them from last week. First comments, first served. Bring it. Opa, who was that? Anyone first? Woof. Encouraged. Have I encouraged you a little bit? Encouraged. I now feel encouraged and excited about living my life to its fullest potential. Gal, you are first. Gal, empowerment. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. I'm doing Insta first. Rianes. Rianes. Strengthening and free. Strengthening and free. What does it mean? The war is over and I am now free. This is time now to empower you. The war is over and I am now free. Lisa. L A L C I. Lisa. Time to let go and be confident in who you are and what you are. As I let go of my fears, I find my confidence. I now enjoy being the amazing person that I truly am. That's for you, Lisa. You are. Who said that? Me, me, me. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Someone just joined straight to the cards. Hey, Simone. I'll pull you a card. Will you find me a house? Yes, you will. Angela. Yasusita. Angela, it is time for you to be a role model, especially as you are at home, teaching the children. I am now willing, ready, and able to be a positive example, and that is working on your solar plexus time for you to lift it up to the heart and feel really good about it okay and beautiful 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 and simone here a card for you my love time for you to be fulfilled what does it mean fulfilled i am now willing ready and able to live in my fullest expression of myself you might work with people who are very strong and very dominant Yet, you still need to stay connected to who you are and what you are. Okay? Now, moving here. Judy, here's a card for you. Judy, you are processing a lot. All your processing is about... My processing methods are fast and accurate. My brain is now enjoying this freedom. Could it be, Judy, that you've been doing your head in and you didn't allow yourself to really free yourself from some obstacles, I'm being told. Some obstacles. Lynn, 
beautiful Lena. Free. You are free. I am now free to be in my full potential and self-actualization. Well done. Very good. So I'm reading from From Survive to, to Thrive, Empowerment Cards by yours truly. Um, Nat, here is the card for you. What are you burdened about? If you are burdened, I now let go of all the heavy burden. I feel light and free. Nat, stop taking things personally. No taking things personally. Pull you another one. Regeneration. You need to regenerate yourself. You need to change the energy and to give yourself freedom. My cells are now regenerating to full capacity on all levels and dimension. Elizabeth, all the way to Israel. Elizabeth, you are worthy. I am now worthy of love and all the good in the world. So this is for you, Elizabeth. All right, who else is there? Who else would love? Beck, do I still have you with me? Because you might feel deprived, but you need to really be content. So I'm now willing, ready, and able to tune into my needs. So what is it that you need? Who else is there? Dion, Yasusita. Whoopa, whoop. Self-love. Oh, Dan, I didn't see you. Wait, I will. I am now willing, ready, and able to express my self-love at any given moment. Dion, I am now willing, ready, and able to express my self-love at any given moment. You know, the feed can only show me few names together, so if I missed you, like Diana. Ready? Yes, Invisible Baxter. Diana, it is time for you to express this expression my expression is now full of positive energy that fills me up with joy and positivity how good is that self-expression galore amazing Haristo, you're welcome you're welcome anyone else do we have francis francis i have to pull for her and then she tells me pull for me right so francis depressed and determined I am now willing, ready, and able to do my absolute best at any given moment. Stay determined, Francis. Stay determined. Okay, one for me, one for me, one for me. Embrace. What do I need to embrace? I'm not sure. I am now willing, ready, and able to embrace my mind, thoughts, and feelings into all positive expression. Now, isn't that what we were talking about? Those are the witches' card. They always come at the right time in the right thing. We don't have our Haruku bird. Where's our Japanese friend? She's not here today. Let me pull one for Harika bird. Our Japanese friend. She's probably very active at the moment. Card is jumping. Are you kidding? I'm now active and full of vital energy. She's so active that she doesn't have time to be here. Nat, is Vicky still around? I'll do one for Vicky. Vicky, it's time to have integration. Integration. I now choose to live my integrated life to the fullest potential. Don't just sit there and watch TV. Get up. Go. Stop smoking. I'm so bossy. Vicky is my Reiki master, but I'm her Reiki master. So we can boss each other. Now, another one for Monica. Monica, what are you melancholy about? I now choose to lift my sadness and fill myself with joy. When we get a card like this, we always need to pull another one. Timid, I am now safe and secure. Let's see what's the third card because they are all red. Inner beauty, Monica. I am now willing, ready and able to shine my light inside and out. Does anyone have any questions or have I missed anyone? Even if I did, thanks Francis, did you hear it? Um, did I miss anyone? If I did, just write again. I'll do it again quickly. Energy is there. Almost an hour up. Anyone, 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 anyone? Uh, 
Angela, everyone. Yep, yep, yep. Please tell me if I need to do, if I need to do um, anyone else. Would you like? Okay, so if I will then summarize what we have done or what we are doing or what we are choosing to do is to realign. I want you to be like a giraffe. I want you not to be a coyote. I want you to be connected to who you are and what you are. I want you to love your energy. And then I have a question for you. Last week when we had this talk, I'm not sure how many viewers I had, but when I put on the way, I will survive, this has already reached a thousand views. Do you want to tell me that I need to sing rather than to teach and to be all of those things? What do you reckon? First I was afraid. No, we need to choose a different song. That was last week's song. Anyway, so we are family. I've got all my sisters with me and brothers. It's all good. So what do we need to do? Back to life. Do both. I'll be... Both of you saying do both. <laughs> what do you want me to be? The singing healer? I can do that. Um, back to life. Back to life. You see, if I'll be able to pull cards and make them be. But it's about lightening up. Seriously, it's about lightening up. The laughter, let me just tell you that, it's actually the sound of your heart this is the sound of my soul this is the sound i bought a ticket to the world but i have to come back again i don't find it hard to write the next line oh i want the truth to be known sung, whatever mm -hmm. now now I'll make you stuck with that song i know that much is truth so lighten up rejoice have happiness. Be happy. You know what? Today I've actually had the time to clear my crystal table that I, I just didn't have a chance to do it. It's not that I didn't have a chance. I'm lying. I didn't have the energy, the motivation, the desire. So could you for this week, until I'll see you next week, <coughs> pick a project that you want to tidy, tidy up. If it's a drawer, if it's a desk, if it's a, a bag, if it's a wallet, what do you reckon? Are you willing to take, <coughs> excuse me, are you willing to take the challenge? Are you willing to take a challenge for next week to clear one thing? Whether it's a desk, whether it's a wallet, whether it's a bag, whether it's whatever, a drawer, a room, a cupboard, a whole wardrobe, cow, chuck, and then read tidy. Do you put them out? Darling, if I will have to take my crystals to the full moon, I will have to pick up the roof. I have crystals everywhere. I have crystals every single place in this house. Here, I'll show you here on Insta a very quick look. Is that enough crystals? Those are the crystals that haven't been allocated yet. And to the Facebook people, those are some of the crystals that have been, haven't been allocated. So Francis, for me, and I have crystals there, crystals there. I have crystals everywhere. Sorry, the TV is like this. Um, yeah, so this is the crystal house and I, I, I cannot take them all to the full moon. I just invite the full moon to come to the house because otherwise it's just um, way too much. I can't. I need to do tubs upon tubs upon tubs and then to put them back, too much. So please God, help me to manifest in this full moon to find my ultimate home, to find my ultimate everything and... Um, yeah, and then I'll be able to actually pack them and move them. So if we don't have any more questions, know that I love you all. Know that you have beautiful energy. The full moon will be between tomorrow night, Friday, to Saturday. 
Um, in Judaism, it's actually going to be the Jewish Valentine. So this is time to find your partners. If you don't have them, and if you do, then rejoice. And it's all about being the amazing people that you are. So I'm sending you so much love. And I hope to see you next week, same time, 9 p.m., right here, right now. Be well. Love you lots. And take care. You're all so welcome. And let's do this.